Stefan here from Africa Sports Magazine. Be sure to log on to our website to register for our first ever virtual hunting show. in the field driving around for 10 minutes and we saw a nice herd of, of, of buffalo Thomas I did one definitely one shootable bull so the wind is perfect we're gonna get off the vehicle just yeah and we're gonna start walking yeah um, Thomas you happy with that bull the, no, the, the one we saw yeah. was definitely uh, yeah he's definitely old in the bull. range we want yeah, yeah well, okay. definitely Mr. Hills, you ready this morning nice and fresh this oh. morning I was born ready <laughs> See that bull on the right of that directly? Yeah. That's the bull we want to take. It's just not an open shot. Just not an open shot, just I don't care. It's a difficult shot. 
many places. Yeah. But, uh, so we're on the tracks at the moment. Wind is all right. Hopefully we get them again. Nice ball. Boy, Stefan. Congratulations. Thanks so much. Good shooting. Awesome shooting. Thank you, man. Oh, you want a nice bull, eh? Beautiful. Old bull, I'm still. Okay. Thank you, man. Very well done. <laughs> <laughs> The first shot almost looks pretty good. Um, it wasn't it wasn't a full front, right? It was a little bit caught caught it and you had to I think you had to go a little bit to the right before the branch. Bloody branch is a bit small. But yeah the shot was close enough, eh? What is that about 40 paces? I think so. Well, I marked it so we can actually measure. Oh you did mark it. Did you catch the catch I the branch? The okay, so <laughs> yeah and, and, and as he but that, that first shot really Full yeah, for sure. And, and as he decided which way to go, it gave me a perfect opportunity on, on the side. 
side shoulder shot and yeah, obviously. And the nice thing was he was away from the hurt, so he yes. had an open second open. shot. Didn't have to worry about anything. Open second shot. Even if there were a follow through, you oh, couldn't but have But it's had a, a beautiful bull. Eh? Yeah, old, eh? Yeah, white face. Old bull. Nice shape as well, it was. Yeah. Just didn't have the spread. But that's what we're trying to do. That's what we're trying to do, and I think we accomplished that with both our bulls this week. So. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much for the opportunity. And uh, it was a great hunt, eh? It was. He struggled for two days, and um, this morning was a great hunt. Yeah. I and mean, it's nice and cold. And um, the wind, this last 30, 40 minutes, the wind was 100% in our favor. Yeah. It was just a matter of time. Well, Stefan, patience paid off. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, it was three, three tough days, especially yesterday with, with no movement, with this cold front coming out of the southern part of South Africa. We've seen the pictures and the videos of the snowstorm. So it is abnormal weather, especially for this part of, the, of, of South Africa. It's yeah. normal. It, normally it's quite hot. Yeah, and uh, I mean, we still have jackets on and it's already uh, it's almost 10 o'clock. So, um, yeah, no, but I mean, what a morning, eh? A couple of stalks, a couple of failed attempts. And uh, you just said we're going to stick to the spur. We're going to shoot this old bull. We saw him first thing this morning. Uh, and um, like you said, patience made off. Yeah. No, and Stefan, well, congratulations on a beautiful shot. Oh, I mean, thanks. That, that yeah. first shot was perfect. Yeah. And, and the second and, shot was also perfect. And, and we talked about it, the big calibers. It, it, that, I mean, it, it's, it's nice hunting a buffalo with an with a adequate caliber. And, yeah. I mean, a 500 nitro is a real beast. So, no, definitely. And, and the bullets as well. We'll recover, hopefully, we'll recover both of those bullets to learn a little bit more about that. But, uh, yeah, those those Woodley, uh, the Woodley softs, they, they definitely work. Yeah. Thomas, I just want to add one thing, you know, before we finish off. Um, you invited us on, on these hunts, and there's a couple of our friends will, will join you in the weeks to come. Um, with this whole pandemic, we in and, and, and no flights in and out. South African trophy hunters, you know, have the opportunity now to, to hunt. I mean, in this beautiful area where we are, we've seen numerous elephant and hippo and crocs and the fish eagles. We heard hyena on the tracks of this uh, buffalo this morning. So, but what we're trying to achieve here, and we spoke about it last night in camp, is we, we try and get out these older bulls, obviously, because they've done their part. Um, but also, you know, some of these bulls that, that does still, you know, get to the herd every now and again. You, you, you guys try and take out the smaller spread bulls and, and, and we try and save, you know, some of the bigger yeah. genetics. In South Africa, we have a model. Everything is privately owned, all the land and all the animals. So you have to look after animals, you know. No, definitely. Um, and, and, and I think this is quite a, quite a good yeah. exercise and, and what we achieved, Richard, your bull as well. I mean, it's a great bull to hunt and it's, you know, for us, it's, it's definitely a memorable hunt and a memorable trophy that, you know, that's going to look spectacular on a wall. But I think for generations to come, it is wise, you know, to leave some of the, some of the bigger stuff. You have to preserve the genetics, otherwise you'll fall back into what happened in the early 50s and 60s where all the trophies were shot out. So you for have sure. to, and you have to do a management plan, especially on a, on a fenced in area like in South Africa. Yes. You have to. So no, I think we've, like you said, I think we've, we're busy accomplishing exactly what we're trying to do. Yeah. And with that, you get the pleasure of hunting one of the most dangerous animals yeah, and what in I Africa. Hunted was. Thomas, thank you so much. Thank you, Stephen. Richard, thank you for joining. Thank you, Stephen. Thanks that I could Good take shooting. along on your hunt as thank well. You, Richard. Good and uh, thanks for joining us uh, on our show. And yeah, keep following our channel. Thomas will be taking off a few more buffalo during this year and hopefully we can join you guys. Hopefully so. Thank you, Stefan. <laughs>